G'day and welcome back to G'day Kitchen. Today I will be making a beautiful banana and walnut cake, which is a family favourite, um, and I'd like to share those recipes with you. The ingredients that I'll be using today is some self-raising flour, some butter, unsalted, some nice ripe bananas, some walnuts, four free-ranged eggs, some nice brown sugar, a little bit of bicarb, and some milk. So let's get started. Okay, so what we need to do first is get, get ourselves a nice big bowl and peel these lovely sweet bananas and place them into the bowl. I think we can get away with uh, three of them. Once the bananas are all mashed up, we can then incorporate our milk. And then we've got a nice batter. And then all we have to do is incorporate the rest of the ingredients. In goes our one and a half cups of sugar. And then we can give that a bit of a mix then what we need to do is get a handful of these beautiful walnuts squash them up maybe maybe a little bit more I'd say it's about half a cup okay then we have our sift our flour. It's always good to sift the flour. You get a nice fluffy cake. And then give that another mix. So now what we can do is incorporate our eggs, four to be exact. We've got some bicarb, I'd say half a teaspoon in goes. And then we'll give it another mix. By all means, if you want to use a mixer, you can. I'm just used to using whisk in a bowl. Okay, so we incorporate our butter. There's a hundred and just just under hundred grams. And what I like to do also is just just keep a little bit there for the lining of the actual cake tin, which is here. Not too much, all you need is a little bit and then that can go back in there. A little massage through the whole tin. Okay, and that's done there. Now continue to mix the butter in the batter. And what this does, it ensures a nice fluffy mixture. So. So we've got our, our cake tin with a little bit of butter and all you need to do is sprinkle a little bit of flour like so and then just give it a couple of hits and that's good to go. In goes the batter. Okay. 
Now all we have to do is finish it with a little bit of walnuts, just over the top. Okay, and I think that should be more than adequate. Now it's ready for the oven. Uh, the oven's preheated at 200 degrees and we are setting it at 190 degrees temperature for 40 minutes, half an hour to 40 minutes. 40 minutes later, putting the, the rack over the top and turning it upside down. But all we need to do now is just take off the cake tin and here we go. Here's my nice banana and walnut cake. While we have it like that, we can also put, put it on a plate, turn it upside down, and away we go. Hope you enjoyed.